Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back once again. My name is Jordan, also known as JMonster. I want to thank you guys for joining me for something a little bit different. Uh, this is The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, in case you hadn't already guessed that by the gigantic logo up there in the top left hand of the, of the screen. And it is a little piece of gaming history, probably one of the best games to come out, I would say, in the last few decades. It is amazing, expansive, immersive, and just downright funny and lovable. And it is absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. That being said, I don't always want to do this, but I do want to experiment with playing some open world, uh, kind of long-term investment games like this. Uh, and I would also like to get into a little bit of streaming. Witcher Wild Hunt is a game with a lot of choice in it. There's a lot of ways that you can go uh, th and travel through the world, through the story, and a lot of that has a lot of consequences. So I would like to get into some streaming, uh, probably on Twitch, maybe on YouTube, it really depends. Uh, but I do want to gauge a little bit of interest in that, because... Yeah, it would be fun. There's a lot of choice, and like I said, I, w I would like to go through this game kind of together. Uh, maybe play it a little bit differently than what I normally would if I have someone else there pointing me in a certain direction. So, yeah. If you guys are, are interested in, in doing some streaming, please let me know. It will definitely facilitate a uh, more quicker reaction on my part in terms of being able to, to do the things that you want to do and to follow the story paths that you want to see taken. Um, but yeah, for the first episode, I'm just kind of, I'm just going to kind of do what I want because I don't really have you guys here. Um, but you can always put uh, suggestions for things down in the comments. Like if you have played through this game before and you're familiar with the story and you want to see me take maybe a path that you haven't taken in your game, please tell me. Let's do this together. Let's make it fun and interactive. Uh, as as to the extent that I possibly can. So yeah, that does it for the spiel. Let's go ahead, jump into the game. Hope you guys enjoy it.
Damn, I love that cutscene. I love that cutscene as much as the day that I first saw it. Yup. Well, this is where we get demonetized. Yep. Ugh. That's just not funny. You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Bessemir bores her to death with those etchings. Damn. And also, damn, 10 out of 10 booty would gawk again. God, Gerald is a wretched, stringy thing of a man, isn't he? God, he's like 90% scar tissue. Okay, I've had enough of, of booty and strangely textured human skin. Let's get out of here. New Game Plus. Yep, we are going to be playing on New Game Plus just to make it a little more interesting and because I really like my Master Wolf armor and I want to continue using it. Beautiful. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. Yeah, that's what I just said, Geralt. Though it looks a little bit grainy. If I can do anything to fix that. Ugh. Well, down we go. Oh, right. I think it's right here. I mean, normally, if I this is my first time through, I would explore everything and get a little bit of flavor. Um, but if you guys, I'm not gonna do that this time, just because I've played this game so many times. But if you guys want me to just go around and explore everything. And to get all of the little like flavored notes and stuff, then I absolutely will. You just gotta let me know. Yep. Papa Vesemir oh, passed out. Fast asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. Samir <laughs> was our ivy shaking. Not like not like wind, but like twitching. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Hmm. Do I want to take the, the kind of laissez-faire approach when it comes to Siri? Do I want to have a, a firmer hand? Let's go with firmer hand. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. See, Vesemir's with me. I've been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. 
I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. so eager to practice. Strike! Reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Hmm. Apologies, not enough. Well, they're both they're both kind of equally hard ass statements. Like I feel like they could go either way. Let's go with apologies, not Sorry's enough. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. Yeah, Papa End Gerald, laying down the law. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Hell's yeah. Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Oh. I guess that cuts off the option. I've never done that one before. I'm usually kind of chill when it comes to Siri. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. <laughs> so you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. All right, this will be interesting. It's been a long time since I've actually played this. Probably a good solid three to four months. What so. do you think? Should we start? Going to be relying on muscle the memory for the most part when it comes to, to the combat. Training. Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Oh, that's cool. So the first option, like, it kind of cuts out a lot of the tutorial. Oh no, it cuts out the tutorial entirely. Uh-oh. It's an eerie silence. Siri? And suddenly everyone has disappeared. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. What the...
A terrible portent of things to come. Some way off, we've got time. Hmm. Let's go through the story, just for the benefit of people who haven't heard it before. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. Hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In a dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Siri in my dreams. Maybe she's in danger. Yeah, more story for you. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Time to go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Hell no, nah, Vesemir. Get out of here. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. They must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna get into that. That's private. Very private. Aha. Uh -huh. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but... Perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Probably. Wait, hear that? Ah, friends. Smell it. Ghouls. Ah, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Whoop! Behind. Whoop. Come on in. Oh, it's not fall off. 
the ugly bastard. Hey ya! Is that all of them? Alright. Quinn. Ah, that was not Quinn. That was definitely not Quinn. And. Oh! There we go. So, my fighting style with my characters generally revolves around swordplay and using Quen, and the odd Igni here and there to reduce armor and things like that. Uh, that being said, I will play this however you guys want me to play it. I will go full magic, I will go... Um, I can go like full swordsman and kind of like a, like a school of the cat kind of build. We could go... What's this? Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Yeah, pretty well, just let me know. Oh, skull, wow, Crystal Skull. Crystal. I, you know, I've played this game, like I said, a million times. And uh, I, I don't think I've ever picked that up before. We'll take a look at that's it. Roach. I kind of want to see what that's all about. Uh, let's see here. Quest items. We're going to need that to complete a quest, are we? I think to be missing a lot of runes from my gear, but not from all of them. Hmm. Well, that is one thing that I am kind of missing. Pyrrhic runestone. Goes one way with that Tavarog. Oh, that's probably for the rune fellow, who we'll meet much, 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 much later. Alright. Can I remember which... Which sword is which on the controller? Alrighty. Oh yeah, let me double tap that. Fun fact, if you guys aren't aware, you can just you can just auto run on this. Like I'm making Wars perfect turns here, but that's not actually way. me. We have a side. The northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edwin are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. We going? Uh oh, it's Griffin time. Ugh. Got him good. Oh. Watch it, Vesemir. <laughs> Get back for the horse. Bird's got its priority straight. Getting old, Vesemir. Getting old. Let's go. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. Normally, I play the good guy Geralt, and that's what I'm going to do this time around. But, again, if you guys want to see me play a complete friggin' asshole Geralt who just is an utter opportunist, completely heartless, you know, why not? That's a path I've never really gone down before. It'd actually be kind of exciting in its own way. But we're going to go. We're going to be good guy Geralt this time around. You don't know what's anything. You anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... 
there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travellers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. God, does that sound good. Yep. Damn it, get back here, Roach. Roach! Faster. Oh, there we go. So, yep. the griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure, but here, near the main road. It's getting bold. It's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Perhaps monsters crazy sometimes. Oops. Men too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. Yeah. Do we though? I feel like we could take a, a band of, of rabble rousing hicks. But we're gonna be good guy Geralt, so we're gonna try not to get blood all over this lady's establishment. Because we're nice like that. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Tamerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Tamaria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Freaks. So polite. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Show me what you got. Show me what you got behind the counter. I want to see what you got. Hell yeah, we're gonna get Gwent cards. One other thing. I friggin' love Gwent. Absolutely nuts for it. And uh, we're gonna play a lot of it. Probably at the expense of the story in a lot of cases. So, just, just so you're aware. It's gonna happen. Uh, Mandrake Cordial, Cherry Cordial, how much are these things? Far too expensive for our humble Witcher budget. Actually, no, never mind. We actually have a lot of money. <laughs> what we got here? Mastercrafted Woven Armor. I think I have Grandmaster Woven Armor currently. Which is why I have the Mastercrafted stuff in my inventory. I don't really use food. I tend to use potions. I don't find food to be worth it most of the time. So, contract on the Griffin. Contract on that Griffin. Tell me! Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And it seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Pretty busy place you got here. Pretty busy place you got. <laughs> Nation's on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Looking for a woman. Looking wink, wink. For a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh,. Strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. 
I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. <laughs> Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Well, thank you for everything, man. Thanks for everything. Quit in under Geralt. She's a bit old. I gotta say, I like the decorations here. It's just, it's got a certain. Please, I'm not. Je ne sais quoi. Very rustic aesthetic. I like it. It's real pretty. I'd rather not draw any attention. I would live in a place like that. Minus the roof made of pig shit and hay. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Drommel, Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. <laughs> These are our magic. Woman dressed in black and white. Sorcery. Sir, talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Don't know. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Only works on the weak-minded. People, the freak's taken Micah's mind. Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. I wouldn't fuck with Geralt. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Sit your ass down. Uh, okay, they probably did raise tensions in the bar somewhat. Ooh. There are four For those of you who are uninitiated, this is a very fateful encounter, and you will see why very far down the road. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. It'll lift your spirits. Um. We'll have a drink. Fine. I'll Bit weird drink. for Geralt in the situation, but we'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Mm, how do you know yet? Let's go with that. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Hmm. Let's get to the point. You sing, Jennifer. Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? <laughs> I feel like normally Geralt would not share any sort of feelings with a stranger at all. And he would just tell them to fuck right off. Which is kind of my, my gut instinct here. Um, but let's be different. Let's try... Let's, let's get messy. Let's make mistakes. Do things a little bit more out of character. Because we're not Geralt of Rivia. I am Jordan of Victoria. Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Omniscient. Terse. Hmm. Thanks. Odd vocabulary for your common murder of the mill merchant. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Hmm. Perhaps. Alright, well, we've bullied... Bullied the local bumpkins. Let's go talk what with these guys. A waste of time. 
The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> Got a minute? Why not? Albert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. God, you're a puffy, peacocky jerkass. Horsewoman of war, you say? Hmm, yes, why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Hmm. Yeah, right about the war, what it's really like. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. <laughs> huh. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folk say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. That yeah, sounds about right. I can vouch for the last bit. <laughs> know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. War reached Novigrad yet? No, nope. but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. True. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. <laughs> but the rules are quite Am simple. I familiar with Gwent? Oh yeah. Mm, why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Nope. What if it lets me start with my old deck? I don't believe it does. That is okay. Uh now let's just get rid of I don't really use the impenetrable fog. I don't use the rain. I do use the budding frost. Get rid of these guys. Poor fucking infantry. The hell of a card name. Uh, unit cards. I guess we'll use Yarp and Zigrin because we have no other choice. Let's go ahead and start the game. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. But it also kind of works out alright-ish. Uh, I won't bother with that one. Yeah, look at them Look at them blue stripes. That will be useful. There we go. Let's put down some crap we don't care about. I will see that and raise you a Cynthia. Or a Kira Metz, rather. Do this. Hell yeah. I feel like we can bait out most of this guy's cards. He's a pretty easy opponent generally. I don't think I've ever lost to him before. Of course, now that I say that, today will be the day. There we go. 
We'll get rid of that. Ha! All right, let's crush this guy. Boom. Oh, two of them. How terrifying. Now, one of the things, it's just a little quirk that I like to do. I like to, even when it's obvious that I'm going to win, I like to play everything that I can and get my points as high as possible so that the AI knows just how badly I beat them. Just to rub it in just, just a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do every game. It's just, it's just how I, how I do. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Well, we certainly took that stuffy, arrogant academic down a peg, didn't we? First time playing the game, and we beat him. Oh, that's gonna be hard to swallow. It's okay, though. Well, that'll do. Let's skidoodle. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. What do you think I was doing? Don't want your kind here. Yeah, uh, let's use this. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I uh you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft! Get him! Well, that at least takes one of them out of the fight. Oh. Come here, Sonny Jim. Yeah, eat it, boy. You want some? Come on. Come on. Boom, baby. Oh, hell yeah, we leveled up already. Um, Let's go to the character. Well, you can kind of see my build here. I, w I went for a little bit of an all-rounder guild, specializing mostly in, uh, obviously, in attack value. But I don't think I quite have the red mutagens left that I wanted. Yeah, I know. I'm using kind of like like ghetto quality. It's not great. Um, but I will fix that. This is what I'm, I'm rocking so far. You guys can always tell me what you think about it. And what you guys would want to change and like some play styles you want to see me screw around with. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to buy. You guys can always uh, make recommendations on what you'd like to see the skill points spent in. I personally can't think of anything. I used this build pretty well throughout the entirety of the last game with some slight modifications here and there as more things became available. Alright, let's go ask the Guardians about Yennefer. And I think we'll sign off for the night. It's Durbin now! Honestly, it's a, it's a great game if you want to train your ear to recognize various kinds of English accents. Yep. Come on, let's go chat with the Elf Guardians. Although... Uh oh Oh. Ah, you're not so scary. Yeah. Once you get their once you get their patterns down, they're not so bad. What the hell, man? Where'd you go? That's okay. Boom! Extra ability point for us. Alright, it's gonna be a tough one. Uh, why don't we. 
You know I've got a wraith thing on here somewhere. Spectorial. There we go. Alright, down we go. Ha! Take that. And you're mine. Boom! Who else wants them? Spectres are kind of nice. They usually give you a decent amount of money. And like some like gems and like random magical and alchemical artifacts. Okay. Ooh, legendary viper sword. I wonder if they take the same kind of... Probably not. There's probably a, a huge amount of uh, crafting material that goes into that. We've got a decent amount of money. We could probably purchase something. Maybe get our Viper Sword right off the bat. That'd be nice. Alrighty. Move it. Got what we came for. Let's skadoodle. Boing. Come on, Roach. Let's go. Hey, I better put our sword away. It's it's fairly immersive, but also kind of obnoxious. That like I can run people over with my horse, but heaven forbid you pull out a sword in front of them. Suck it! I'm not one to turn down a fight, and I also like the XP. So let's get her done. How's that feel? Damned word, get back here. Take that. Dimeridium, always nice to have. Decent amount of crafting material. Uh, the wolf hide we can use for things? Leather, maybe? Ooh, a dumb blank. Tasty. Raw meat, not so important. Get over here, horsey. Go, go. Go, go, go. locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Is that that wasn't obvious? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy. I have cat eyes, come on! Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Dicks. Goldice Griffin is Is it true? Hmm. Let's go talk to this. Peter, what's his name? How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. I <laughs> can't argue with your logic. I like Sargastic Girl. Let's go with that. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. A Vatgun. 
This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's obvious he cares about the griffin. It's a problem for his area. It looks bad. It's a pain in the ass. Okay. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? A specific herb, yep. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. <laughs> Go to Tomira. I love the I love that repartee. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. More info, more info for the question. About Come on. This griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. To me Queer, and to one might say. Thanks. Es sun diakten. Aw, th th thanks. Well, that is going to do for now. Like I said, I like trying to keep the episode short. Um, this was really just an introduction. Not a lot happened, I know, but that was intentional. Um, just because I want to see... I, I want to see what you guys think of this. Are you interested in seeing this continue? Do you want to do this on Twitch? Do, is there a format that you'd like to see this uh, accomplished with? Um, please let me know. And for the time being, we're going to leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.